Hi there, it's Peter here again, the guy who hates tomatoes but loves front end development. Welcome to Barba JS 101, course dedicated to page transitions with Barba. Over the next few videos, you will learn how to create CSS transitions or JavaScript transitions using Barba JS and CSS in the first part and GreenSock in the second part. Here is the CSS demo where we will be using fade transition to go to the second page. Then we'll use the clip path transition, cover transition, and then we'll slide back home. All of this will be done using Barba and the CSS plugin. So we'll be adding classes to our container and then in the style sheet, writing the necessary CSS transitions. So that's what will be happening in the first part. And in the second part, we will switch to JavaScript animations and we will use GreenSock to animate for us the outgoing page and the incoming page. So the second part of this course will be dedicated to JavaScript animations with GreenSock. Okay, along the way, you will learn how to use Barba, how to use the hooks and trigger code at the right time. And we will start from HTML and CSS already created. So this course is purely dedicated to Barba. We already had some HTML and CSS created. Here is the repo, open, download it and open it in VS Code. And in the first part of this series, we will look and work inside of the Barba CSS. Okay, so let's go to VS Code, download it and open Barba CSS inside of VS Code. You don't need to use VS Code if you have other editor that you're more comfortable with, don't feel the pressure to use VS Code, but if you want to follow me step by step with the debugging and everything, then VS Code's the easiest way to do it. We have a simple Webpack config or Webpack bundling setup, and inside of the source folder, we have four HTML files that we will link together. Then we have JS, images, and CSS. So pretty simple format or structure of the project. The main thing is how do we run this? We firstly need to install all the dependencies for the bundling, for that we will use yarn install or npm install. And once all this is done, we can run npm run dev, that will open the dev server locally and we can preview the project, okay? It will open the index.html in the dev server And here it is. Here we have four pages, simple button that goes to the next page, next page, next page. And over the next few videos, we'll learn how to use Barba and CSS plugin to create some creative transitions between these pages instead of the harsh browser refresh. Hopefully the installation and the dev server opened up for you nicely. If not, then just go to localhost 9000 once you have the project compiled, I will just close the terminal and open the index.html, that's the main file where we are linking the JavaScript file. As you can see, it points to assets slash app.js and there is no assets folder here. That's where the webpack config magic happens. We are taking the entry files app.css and app.scss and generating it as an output inside of assets folder, okay? So this is where the dist distribution folder will be. And in the dev server mode, in the dev mode, we are serving it from memory. So there are no files generated, but if we run npm run build, that would actually create the files, okay? So in the dev mode, don't freak out. There are no files generated. It's all being served from memory and just wanted to show you where this assets folder is and why you can't see it but let's actually do it let's prove you that npm run build will generate these files and these will be the files that you can then copy to your web hosting and serve the file anywhere from the internet okay so here it is the production build is done this folder created all the files are the same and inside of assets we have minified CSS and minified JavaScript. 
Alrighty, so that should be quite straightforward. Hopefully you've already done a few Webpack and Gulp minifications of CSS and JavaScript, because in this course we're purely focusing on Barba and how to make page transitions. We're not focusing too much on CSS and Webpack build. It's purely dedicated to Barba. Okay, so let's start the dev server again and I will close the terminal. Let's go back, close the terminal. Oops, close the terminal here and we'll close the Webpack config. The main structure, we have simple body with a header. The header is different on each of the pages, different content and different background color. So it's very simple CSS and HTML. Hopefully it should be quite straightforward. And we have on every page, we have a simple link to another page. Okay, so from the index, we go to the fade HTML, from fade, we go to clip, and from clip, we go to with cover. Okay, four, pa four pages, simply linked together. And then from the with cover, from the last page, we go back to a home. Alrighty, so that's how it's all hanging together inside of the app SCSS. We are importing Google Fonts, reset style sheet just to clean up all the default styles and then we're importing four files each of them will be used for different animations so for now all the other files are empty and then we will be importing them through here we've got some basic styles overflow hidden on the body default background color white and simple styling nothing major we will get to, here is the colors, actually here's the colors of each page is defined. So index has a class is home, fade has a class is fade. And that's why the background is blue on the home page and so on. Okay, so that's how the background colors are set. Don't worry about content and transition as well. We'll get to it a little bit later. Okay, I think this is enough to give us overview of the project what we will be building, where are we starting from. And in the next video, we will start writing our transition using Barba and the Barba CSS plugin. But before we jump into the code and start working on our transition and the landing Barba, let's see some examples of cool websites that are using Barba. So you know which kind of projects Barba is useful for. Here are some examples that are using Barba for page transitions, Barba.js for page transitions. As you can see, cool images, cool portfolios, landing pages, marketing sites are all using Barba.js. WordPress sites as well. So any CMS that generates a static HTML, you can easily hook Barba onto and create any page transitions you can think of. Here is a read.be, one of the most famous Barba.js pages or websites. Cool animation transitions between the pages using Barba.js. And the last example is sumi, sumi.fillinglive.co. Here is a cool transition on the canvas. Again, all JavaScript controlled by Barba. So here are just some examples of where Barba was used in a real life project. And now let's jump into the learning.